Changing the oil on my buddy's old Can-Am Outlander 800. Uh, just wanted to bring something. Just wanted to bring something up. Um, if you're the, the type of DIY that's not really mechanically inclined and stuff like that, and you want to be sure to have the right stuff to do the work properly and not uh, miss any parts and stuff. Uh, if you have a K&M, uh, Polaris does it, CF Moto does it. There's a lot of company that does it now. It's an oil change kit that has everything in it. So you're sure to have the right oil, the right oil filter, and like in these kits, the XPS kits from uh, from Canon. This is what we call a winter kit. So the winter kit is a full synthetic 0W40. This is what it is on this one. What I love about these kits is you get the exact same thing you'd get at the dealer. Hold on, I got this light here flickering. Wow, huh? <laughs> Talk about flicking. So, you get these things that are very, very important. These are gaskets and uh, oh, there's a crush, a crush washer here. So the, these are very important products that you need to have, especially this gasket here, which goes on the cover because on a Can-Am, the oil filter is internal. So this actually goes in here like this and you screw on this cover back on. But most of the time this gasket will still be good. But if it ain't good and you don't see it, you'll end up with oil dropping everywhere around that thing there. So that's why they include it here. Uh, they're not cheap, but you get full synthetic oil Three quarts of full synthetic. Oh, they made a smaller one, so they actually measured it out. So this is the right quantity. You just drop this oil in and that's it. How cool is that? Before they used to have more oil, like three quarts. Now they just put the right quantity of oil. So there's no, there's no guesswork. How cool is this? So this is available at your local uh, can or BRP dealer. And like I said, uh, it does this, they do the same thing at Polaris and they do the same thing at CF Moto. I know Yamaha does it. I'm not sure Honda, but most, most companies now have their, their oil change. And very important is the oil filter. Uh, you don't know how many times I've seen cheap oil filters that don't do the job properly with uh, cardboard end caps and stuff like that. Uh, this one has good, good filtering material, nice density, and it's got the, the valve, the, the return valve, which is not a piece of uh, folded, uh, folded metal. You know, it's not cheap. It's the right one with the, the, the right spring inside. So this works fine. This is, this is good stuff, actually. Oh, and it says Rotax. So that's it. This is, uh, if you're not really mechanically inclined and you don't know very much your way around mechanics, but you want to DIY some of your stuff, well, you, you, you use this stuff. And it's under 100 bucks. Uh, you know, it's going to cost you a, a little bit more to get it done at the dealer. So save some money. At the same time, you get to work on your machine and uh, take the time to discover and look, touch the machine find if there's anything loose take some time you're gonna take more time to do that than any other tech because it's your machine so you'd be more attentive to it uh, you know you check if the wheels are loose so this ain't loose it's just a basic check that you run to know if there's anything loose look at the brakes brakes are fine on this side this is the old system the brakes used to be on the shafts so 
brake pads are. They're good. Okay. These wear very fast on Can-Ams. And in the back, there's a center one. It's on the drive shaft. I don't really see it, but you, you guess. So you check the U-joints if, if they're greasable. Grease the U-joints. Grease fittings, any fitting that needs greasing, you do. But there's nothing much to grease on a G1. Maybe this one has been replaced. Yeah, there are grease fittings here. So we're gonna grease this one up and this one. So these have, have grease fittings. The tie rods, these one don't, so they're, they're OEM. There's no grease over there either. So it's a, it's a quick checkup that's gonna take couple of hours for your t of your time in your shop with a brewski or your favorite pop beverage with a buddy usually it's fun it's more fun to do it with a buddy but this this is the stuff you should be doing and you should learn it everybody has a mechanic friend somebody who's more mechanically inclined so go for these guys talk with them and uh Try, try to learn how to do stuff on your own. Like we're gonna do a rear diff oil change today. We're gonna do the transmission also. We're doing the engine and we're gonna do the front diff on this one. So that's it. I'm Mark from the ATV guys, telling you to do it yourself. It's more fun. <laughs> Bye, see you next time.